another layer of these big rocks here down, kind of smushed up against uh, the barrel with some cob as a little adhesive. The cob is gonna uh, conduct heat from the barrel into these rocks and then into the outer uh, layer of rocks here. So just laying it all the way around. And then I think he wants to do another layer all the way on the top as well. We're also trying to not completely encase everything in cob so that A, we don't use as much cob and B, if this ever needs to be maintained and disassembled, it is perhaps less of a task. So we have wood, right, in the system. So thinking about wood, you don't wanna just have this hot exposed to the wood. So thinking about having gravel in here allows some air to flow through. And so we've got these air holes that were in the bottom already. Um, and so we're leaving it on the side so you can get a little bit of air to fall through, um, hopefully preserving the combustible materials in this build. And then cob, cob is our cementious material between these rocks. It's to expand our contact points from rock to rock, you know what I mean? So that we get good conductive heat from one rock to the it's next. It's acting like a conductive glue. Yeah, exactly, exactly, like a conductive glue. That's a good way to put it. We don't have any cob between the rocks and the wood wall oh, yeah. of the sure. bin because we're not trying to send heat into the wood. Yes. We're trying to keep the heat in the rocks and then let it release slowly. Amen.